The all-new Dell XPSN HP Spectre X360 square off in the PC battle of 2020. Two of the most popular laptops in 2020 not called the Mac square off in a battle for your hard-earned cash. Students, professionals, and even YouTubers like myself want the best value for the buck and since this is not a sponsored video, I can say what I want because you know, uh, money talks and hopefully we can make this video short enough for you to enjoy on your next bathroom break. We will cover the specs, the looks, the displays, the ports, overall performance, and derive the value proposition. So the base model 15 inch Dow XPS 9500 retails for $1,299, which is the PC we have here. Sporting a temp generation Intel Core i5 10300H. And this processor is absolutely no slouch. Its effective speed is only 6% less than the Intel Core i7 10750H found in the $1,749 variant of the Dell. The effective speed is usually what you will find in the real world and with everyday use. Now accompanying the CPU are 8 gigs of RAM, a 256 gigabyte M.2 NVMe solid state drive and an integrated Intel UHD graphics card. Again, all this for $1,299 is not bad. For college students, teachers, professionals, even IT professionals that do moderate to heavy data entry and average media consumption via your favorite streaming apps, I'd say the base Dell XPS 9500 is all you would need. For content creators and gamers even, the Dell XPS variant starting at $1,749 offers you a capable NVIDIA GeForce GTX 1650Ti, although I have to say that's a little underwhelming for the price considering Dell's own Alienware M15 R3 gets you better performance. Okay, back on track because Dell versus Dell is just stupid. The HP Spectre X360 base price starts at $1,349 and spec'd out comparably to the base model Dell XPS, except you get a more energy efficient Intel Core i7, a discrete NVIDIA GeForce MX330, a 256GB M.2 NVMe solid state storage drive, and 16GB of memory, which is twice the amount of RAM on the Dell XPS. You also get a 4K display, touchscreen capability, and of course, the pen. I personally would give HP the win when pricing out these models spec for spec. So even spec'd out to the same configuration as the $1,749 Dell with the same CPU, RAM storage, and GPU, the HP Spectre still comes out $220 cheaper. What about design? Well, the feel of these two machines screen premium. They screen touch me, I'm beautiful. But before we get into that, let's talk ports. The Dell XPS 9500 comes standard with a USB-C 3.1 with power delivery display port, a full-size SD card reader, a headphone and microphone combo jack, and two Thunderbolt 3 ports with power and display port. Plus this cute USB-C to USB-A 3.0 and HDMI adapter. It's cute, but I'm not about that dongle life. The HP Spectre X360 comes with one micro SD media card, so it's not a full size SD media card. A Thunderbolt 3 Type-C with power delivery and display port, one super speed USB Type-C and one super speed USB Type-A on the other side. Along with that, you have a headphone microphone combo and one HDMI 2.0 port, and all of that is integrated. So in comparison to the Dell, you don't have to carry around with a dongle if you don't want to. Both support Wi-Fi 6, but you won't find an Ethernet port on either of these devices. You will need an adapter for that. The Dell XPS sports a 56 watt hour battery, and in my testing, I found the battery lasted around 10 hours with mild usage, with some users reporting around 12. 
the HP has a bigger 72.9 watt hour battery, which HP claims up to 19 hours of battery life. And in my testing, I got about 15 and a half hours with mild usage. But again, battery life really depends on you. And what they claim in the lab is never really what we're gonna get. But what about the industrial design? Well, the Dell feels and looks like a Mac. The HP looks and feels more premium, but I don't think I like the rose trimming. Again, this is a matter of taste, but both are absolutely gorgeous. The Dell will get the win for its rigidity and its conventional look, though. I don't know. I mean, I like the conventional look, and again, it's just a matter of taste, but the Dell XPS sports far better speakers, and I'm guessing the guys at Bang and Olufsen fell asleep at the wheel over at HP because the HP Spectre just does not sound as good. It does not impress me. Now the HP Spectre hands down kicks ass with a better screen and it shines even more when you choose the OLED. The touchscreen option along with the pen gives the Spectre the win for versatility and interaction plus the two-in-one design just lends itself more to practical uses in my mind. When it came to exporting video, we used a three minute 4K video without adjustment layers, effects, or transitions. And there was no surprise that the HP exported noticeably faster by nearly one full minute thanks to the discrete GPU, the NVIDIA GeForce MX330. It's really not the most powerful GPU out there, but it is certainly better than the integrated Intel HD graphics card that you will find in the base model Dell. According to our benchmarks using PC Mark 10, we saw scores that were rather comparable, but that was after upgrading the RAM on the Dell to match the 16 gigs of RAM found on the HP Spectre. We also add an additional terabyte of NVMe storage to the Dell, so the XPS and the HP Spectre matched more closely before doing these comparisons. Next up, we compared battery life with both machines starting at 100% and began some intensive tasks such as video editing and running the PC Mark 10 benchmark twice. The end result was the Dell XPS had 30% battery life left versus the HP Spectre's 60% of battery life still in the tank. We expected this considering the HP Spectre X360 has a bigger battery. I personally like the brighter display on the Dell, but actually prefer a glossy finish. The 4K display on the HP is remarkable despite not being as bright as Dell with an obviously different color hue, but that's just preference. Dell does own one very special advantage in that you can upgrade its internals as we did with its RAM and storage. With the HP Spectre 360, what you see is what you get as components are not upgradable. So keep that in mind when making your decision. Overall, both of these machines are solid performers with the Spectre edging out the XPS in price per performance. Content creation, 4K display, and touch capability. That's a whole lot. The Dell outperforms the HP Spectre in display brightness, better color gamut, speaker sound quality and a lower starting price at $12.99 versus $13.49 with the benefit of allowing you to upgrade the internals. As for me, I'm picking the HP. As for you, let me know in the comments section below. This is Gabe with Review Dark signing